got a Fairbanks Morse FMX Meg. It's a 2V6 of a 1936 John Deere. Um, been working at it. Got a new condenser in there. Your multimeter. It's powered off there, but you have ohms obviously and then microfarads go in and test it multiple different listings of it for this model it was supposed to be stock at about 1.8 to like I guess 2.4 microfarads but um, Brillman sells one of these that's kind of like a general one that's the condenser that I had in there failed completely it was just not doing anything you could see it arcing in between the points which shouldn't be doing if that condenser is working right so this one reads about 0 0.3 point point i'd say three two microfarads or so which i mean it does the job um but yeah that's the one big thing is that people look a lot of time and they you know they see the the points arcing here in between when they really shouldn't be because that's the job of the condenser is that i should pull that arc out of there so that because the way these work here is you have obviously the rotor and the poles going to the to each side of the coil and it should be flowing AC current through it and because you have your primary winding and your secondary winding it's coming through and when you get when your points are closed like this it's coming through the primary winding to this lead here condenser and this breaker through the spring on the breaker arm and grounding out. So that means that no power is going through. As soon as these points open, what happens is, so it's rotated there. So yeah, they're open. It's not quite all the way there, but um, instead of power being able to go through and ground out, there's a voltage spike because it can't complete the circuit. So that voltage spike completes and connects the primary and secondary windings so then at that moment it comes through here to the prong and this is the part that's easy to understand into this lead down and through the contacts in your rotor and um, what a lot of people miss like I said is that spark I said they see that and think all right it's sparking it's working but no if you see it arc in there you're losing your spark because this is supposed to take and make sure that none of that is just cuts the circuit set. Instead of some power going through to the coil to the secondary windings, everything available is going to the secondary windings. And that's the big thing with these. Um, these are see on the back. There is no way to adjust. I mean, as long as it's not broken, it's set at a standard 35 degree leg angle. So you don't have to worry about adjusting those like you did the Wyco ones. Point gap, I mean, I had John Deere manual that said it's 0 0.02 or 0 0.01, 0 0.12, you know? And then I had uh, other ones say that actual Fairbanks Morse manual that I found say it's plus or minus two thousandths of 15 thousandths. So I adjusted it at 15 thousandths. I can't fit. I uh, 17 thousandths in there, so it's a little tight, but it's all right because it'll, you know, it'll wear. But um, yeah, file your points, make sure there's good contact between there. And then people will set it square based off of, you know, when it's open, but I always like to make sure that it's as square as possible, closed, just to make sure that it's flat contact between there. Brushes, I soak that in solvent, clean it up a little bit and turn it around. So that should be all good. For this part, I would say, you know, without sending in and spending a ridiculous amount of money, this is about the best you can do. New condenser, I didn't even need new points. I filed them down and set them, adjusted everything. And then between these two, these are actually the uh, old style wiper cap. So this, there's a little bit of a groove in there, but I decided I didn't want to spend 150 bucks on a new rotor and a cap. So I mean, these uh, brushes are 
in good condition yet. I got the screws for the cap in there, but good continuity between everything. Everything's in good case and shape. Not cracked up. This it was like faded out. So I went ahead and it's a black renew, rubbed it in, got a little shine to it. I'm gonna do another treatment or two on it just to get a little bit more out of it. But it's my opinion, you know, a lot of these old two cylinders will run pretty easily and you don't need to do a whole lot to them. You know, make it run decent and this I mean I was just turning it not even with the impulse tripping and I got a good zap out of that secondary winding there so you know these uh Fairbanks Morris are said to be a little bit hotter mag than you know, a lot of the other white coats and white co x can be hotter but hotter than white co c I've never messed with one before but I've I'm pretty nice honestly but yeah that's about all uh, two cents I can give you Okay, so the last thing I would say is um, per manual when putting these on, uh, maybe sometime we'll get a video of actually putting it on the tractor. But I like taking a little piece of wire. What you do, because this is firing to number one cylinder. This is number two. So flywheel side, clutch side. I tested both of them, so it's set up for this just to make sure that, you know, contact's being made good between both. But take this wire in there bend it down to like eighth of an inch or so when you turn the lugs sorry set on the camera still and i'm not sure which cylinder it's on now but so yeah that was number two cylinder now this one will spark yeah so i miss spark and that's you test spark that way or just for you know ignition purposes so you know which cylinder it's actually firing on because then to explain it a little bit without actually putting it on the tractor once this one sparks you know so the lugs would have been set like this so then you put it on the tractor mounted it like this with the flywheel at left hand impulse leave it turn it all the way to the right then Turn the flywheel over again to left hand impulse. So you wind this to almost a 360. And what you do is turn the meg counterclockwise until you hear that impulse trip. And that is what they call like standard timing or so. And from then you can advance or retard it however you want. But I just thought that might be helpful to anybody who's never seen that before.